Hi everyone, here's a quick lesson about leading tone seventh chords. So the leading tone seventh chord has its root on the leading tone, and this is one of the most common types of seventh chords, and it has a dominant function. So it's similar to the five seven. So if I was in C major, here's my five seven. Sol Ti Re Fa. And the <coughs> leading tone seventh chord has three of the same notes. T, Re, Fa, and then it adds a sum to that. Right, so the root is the leading tone. T, and then in a major key, that becomes half diminished. So it's a seven half diminished seventh in major keys because the, um, it has a diminished triad with a major third on top. That's what makes it half diminished. And then a minor key, um, we have T, Re, Fa, Le, we have a fully diminished seventh chord. Right, here's half diminished and fully. So a fully diminished seventh chord has all minor thirds, minor, 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 stacked on top of each other. Um, but remember, in a minor key, you need to raise the root so that it is a leading tone and not a subtonic. Um, this fully diminished seventh chord is a, is a favorite chord because it creates a lot of tension. And this partially has to do with it having two tritones in it. So that creates a lot of harmonic tension. Resolving the LTDS. So as I've kind of illustrated, both of these seventh chords go directly to a one chord. They resolve in like this. Or now the leading tone goes up, T, Do, and the seventh comes down, La, Sol, or La, Sol. Um, don't double the root because that is the leading tone. We wouldn't want to strengthen that tendency. Um, and note that you can take a uh, leading tone to minus seventh chord and just change one of the notes so that it becomes a five seven. In that case, it went to a five six five, and that strengthens the dominant function because a five seven in any inversion is, str is stronger uh, harmonically. Okay. Lastly, here's some tidbits about voice leading the LTDS. Uh, it's usually very smooth voice leading. All the voices can resolve by step. We've already talked about the tendency tones. Please resolve those first, the T do and the la sol or la sol. Those should definitely be done first. Now, um, there's two tritones in it, like I was saying, in the fully diminished seventh chord. And those tend to resolve in like this. But if they did resolve that way, there would be a doubled third, if you can imagine that. So more frequently, you'll see that they'll use a diminished fifth going to a perfect fifth. That's called unequal fifths. That's not parallel fifths. Um, that would allow them to double the root. So, so imagine that going to two roots, one third, one fifth. Um, and be careful of parallel fifths when you're doing seven fully, or sorry, seven half to minus seven to one. You can get a parallel fifth in there. That is something that's tricky to avoid, but you should try to. Okay, go ahead and take the quiz that follows.